This is every TV dear viewers. Welcome to English News Broadcast for this hour with me, Bersabit Tahle. Following are the major headlines for today. Diaspora nationals commemorated Martyrs Day with patriotic zeal. Financial support extended to families of martyrs. France and China launch a satellite to explore the universe. And Niger pulls French firm's permit for a big uranium mine. On your domestic reports, Eritrean nationals across the globe, including in the U.S., Africa and the Middle East, marked Martyrs Day with fervent patriotic zeal. Commemorative events took place in over 30 German cities, Boston, Massachusetts in the U.S., and the South Sudan cities of Juba, Awail, Bantu, Numu, and Yambio, Johannesburg and the Republic of South Africa, Dubai and United Arab Emirates, Seattle, Washington in the U.S., and the U.K. cities of London, Manchester, Birmingham, Leeds, Sheffield, Leicester, Newcastle, Liverpool, Nottingham, Coventry, Bristol, Cardiff, Wakefield, Middleburg, Southampton, as well as in Scotland, and cities in the Scandinavian countries. At the events, the Nationals are pledged to strengthen participation and contribution in the national development drives. Participants honored the day with candlelight vigils, walkathons, and a variety of cultural and artistic programs that highlighted the significance of the occasion. In a notable show of solidarity and support, diaspora communities also pledged to enhance their contribution and support of families of martyrs. At the ceremony conducted in Boston, Massachusetts and its environs, the nationals contributed over $25,000, nationals in Johannesburg contributed 25,500 rand and assumed the responsibility of supporting five families of martyrs. Nationals in Stockholm also contributed over 60,000 kroner. These contributions underscore the global Eritrean community's ongoing commitment to their homeland's development and honor and respect they have towards their martyrs. On your last local report, government workers in Logo and Serba subzone extended 98,000 NAFA in support of families of martyrs in their area. Mr. Abraham Hagos, administrator of the subzone, said that the money that the government workers extended was distributed to families of martyrs that were identified by the concerned bodies in the areas of the residents. Similarly, residents of Liban, the Kishahai and Ma'arka administrative areas contributed 27,500 Nafa, 7,500 Nafa and 10,000 Nafa respectively in support of families of martyrs. Government employees and well-off individuals in Nafa subzone also contributed 81,000 Nafa in support of families of martyrs. The contribution was made at the popular campaign they conducted in connection with Martyrs Day. In related news, Foro and the Kamhara subzones in connection of Martyrs Day extended over 800,000 Nafa in support of families of martyrs. In Foro subzone, 81,000 Nafa contributed by government and PFDJ employees and national associations in the northern Red Sea region was distributed to disadvantaged families of martyrs. The Office of the Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare in Foro subzone distributed 10,000 each to 35 foster families, disabled individuals and elders across all administrative areas in the subzone. In other news, 124,908 Nafa contributed by government employees in the Kamhara subzone was distributed to families of martyrs across 18 administrative areas. Residents of all administrative areas in the subzone also contributed 200,392 Nafa. Youth workers' organization in the southern Red Sea region also contributed 120,000 Nafa in support of families of martyrs. The viewers, do stay tuned for your international reports and more after the short break. Welcome back. 
A satellite developed by France and China has blasted off on a hunt for the mightiest explosions in the universe and a notable example of cooperation between a Western power and the Asian giant. Today, the 930-kilogram satellite carrying four instruments, two French and two Chinese, took off at about 3 p.m. aboard a Chinese Long March 2C rocket from a base in Xixian in the southwestern province of Xuan. The Space Variable Objects Monitor will seek out gamma ray bursts, the light from which has traveled billions of light years to reach Earth. Gamma ray bursts generally occur after the explosion of a huge star or the fusion of compact stars. When in orbit 625 km above the Earth, the satellite will send its data back to the observatories, which, according to analysts, can help to better understand the composition of space and the dynamics of gas clouds or other galaxies. The main challenge is, however, that gamma ray bursts are extremely brief, leaving scientists in a race against time to gather information. On today's final report, Niger's military government has revoked a French fuel producer's permit to operate at one of the world's biggest uranium mines, the company says. Orano had been licensed to work on the Imoraran mine in northern Niger, which sits on an estimated 200,000 tons of the metal that is vital for producing nuclear energy. Following years of production delays, the West African nation had warned that Orano's license would lapse unless work resumed at the site. On 11 June, roughly a week before the deadline, Orano announced that the work had begun. But on Thursday, Orano said its permit had been withdrawn, a move that comes amid tensions between France and Niger's ruling junta. You're still watching us on every TV viewers, and now a recap of the major headlines. The Diaspora Nationals commemorated Martyrs Day with patriotic zeal. Financial support extended to families of martyrs. France and China launch satellite to explore the universe. And the Niger pulls French firm's permit for big uranium mine. That was it for today, dear viewers. Thanks for watching and have a good one.